options when you travel. We thank you for choosing Travels Airlines and go Chiefs! Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas. Beach Airport. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving and I'm heading to Las Vegas on Southwest Airlines 2809. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. As usual, I have my bags to check, which are normally free on Southwest, and I've already checked in online 24 hours before departure. And now with boarding pass in hand, we'll head towards gate number 8. But first take a look at how long the line is there at Southwest Airlines ticketing area. Normally doesn't look that busy, but with a busy Thanksgiving holiday, it's pretty long today. And the TSA line is also pretty long today. Take a look. Admittedly, having TSA pre-check does help save some time going through the security, even at an airport that isn't so busy like Long Beach. By the way, Long Beach also has clear kiosks, so there are a variety of ways to speed up the TSA security checkpoint process. And within 10 minutes, I went from being dropped off to collecting my boarding pass and through TSA to now hanging out before my flight. And there's my flight, Southwest 2809, departing from gate number 8 at 7.55 this morning. And so far, it's on time. And now that it's in November, it's 39 degrees in Las Vegas. And there's the slogan, travel well, travel on me. And if you've watched my other trip reports from here, you know that that saying is pretty much true. For those of you that didn't know, today, November 26, 2023, is the 100th anniversary of Long Beach Airport. It's a great accomplishment, and I hope the airport has another great 100 years ahead. And I love that both Southwest and Hawaiian have flights between here and Honolulu and Maui. I've always been interested in knowing that I can fly from Long Beach to South Korea or Japan with a stop in Hawaii. So I told you it's a very busy travel day. Americans stopped flying here to Long Beach at the end of February and Southwest ended up taking their gate. It's very crowded here because this flight is heading to Chicago Midway. And it looks like there are a bunch of college students heading back to campus after spending their Thanksgiving here in Southern California. So I remember I was in a lot of these students' shoes years ago since I had attended university at Washington State and had a long travel day after Thanksgiving coming up from Southern California. Especially for those in their first year, this might be their first time away from their family. So hopefully it was a pleasant time to see their family and friends after a long time away. A lot of the students that were on this flight heading to Chicago were heading back to universities like Notre Dame, Valparaiso, University of Illinois, and the University of Chicago. So best of wishes to all these students heading back as they finish up their semesters or quarters at their respective colleges and universities. Now back to this specific flight to Chicago, it was so full that it was in an oversold situation and they were looking for four volunteers to take a different flight, even offering up to a $400 credit and the cost of their ticket. So if I had that kind of flexibility, I would have actually taken up the offer. And so those are the last of the passengers for the Chicago flight that are boarding right now. Happy Thanksgiving by the way! The gates at the North Concourse are all occupied by Southwest flights heading to places like Sacramento, San Jose, Oakland, Dallas, Austin, and of course my flight to Vegas. And with the cold November weather and morning outside, let's head over to the North Concourse in Gate 8, where I'll wait for my flight to Las Vegas. Anyone with extra time on the boarding pass? A-listers, active duty military. Here we are at Gate 8, where 2809 will board out of, and where most of my Vegas flights have departed from this year. Anyway, here's our plane that'll serve as Southwest 2809. It's a 16 and a half year old Boeing 737-700, it's registered November 279 Whiskey November in the Hart livery. It was delivered to Southwest on June 11, 2007 
in the Canyon Blue livery and flew with that livery as late as June 2022 and has only flown with Southwest Airlines. Full guys, completely full. All 143 of you have checked in. With that being said, if you have more than two items, consolidate at this time. Just as a friendly reminder, carry-ons are limited to one carry-on, one personal item only, such as computer bags, purses, or small backpacks. If you have large items such as wheelchairs, walkers, strollers, or large medical assist devices that might need to be tagged, please come up and get those items tagged if you have not done so yet. I actually do have luggage when I fly to Vegas but I never check it in Long Beach since I want to get out of the airport as quick as I can. But with the full flight today, I decided to get check this bag. And it was waiting for me at the carousel in Vegas. So with this being a Sunday morning flight, part of the reason it's full is because it's also a Las Vegas Raiders NFL game day. Today, the Raiders are playing at Legion Stadium against their rivals, the Kansas City Chiefs. There are a few Chiefs fans on today's flight. And this is my first time flying to Vegas on Raiders game day. Time for Las Vegas business select A1 through 15, followed by A16 through 30. A1 through 30, welcome aboard. A1 through B30, B1 through B30, welcome aboard. It's a bit of a walk from gate 8 to where the plane is parked. However, I love flying out of Long Beach because we get to board outside and you can board at the front or the back of the plane. The nice thing about Southwest open seating policy is you can choose whether to board at the front or the back. It's obviously dependent on how quick you want to get on the plane and if there's a line forming in the front. And there's usually a line in the front as you can see there. So I'll be boarding at the back. With my gate checked bag, the gate agent told me to drop off my bag at the bottom of the ramp. It seems a bit sketchy leaving my luggage out in the open like that, but rest assured the ground staff took the luggage and put it in with the rest of the checked bags. I love boarding at the back of the plane because we get to walk past the engine and underneath the wings, so you have an up close and unique perspective of the plane. Now remember, you're boarding at the stairs at the back here and only do so if you're physically able. And welcome on board Southwest Airlines 2809. Today, I'm seated by choice in 24A, a window seat towards the back of the airplane. No, you can see it anywhere. And there's my view for our 40 minute flight from Long Beach to Las Vegas. So on the Southwest Boeing 737-700s, there are 143 seats. The seats are the narrowest of the fleet at 17 inches of width, 31 inches of pitch. The armrest does move up, so if you're lucky to not have someone in the middle, you'll have a lot more room. There's what the seat looks like from the side profile, and recline, a couple of inches. There's no IFE in the back seat, and you'll stream entertainment on your phone or other mobile device. There's no source of power, so make sure your device is fully charged or have backup power. There is the tray that you will be able to eat your snack and have your beverage on. Should go under the seat in front of you so we could try to accommodate everyone's carry-ons and not have to check anything last minute and take a delay. So if you could do, it, do us a big favor once you find a seat you like, step out of the aisleway, put the big bags up, little bags under the seat. Thank you so much. Welcome on board. Southwest has an open seating policy. This means you can sit anywhere you can. For example, I was B-14 for today's flight even though I checked in 24 hours in advance. Now you can get a higher seat by selecting Business Select or Early Bird, which was available for today's flight, or be a pre-boarding passenger. Now mind you, I was in the early part of the B-boarding group and I was still able to find a window seat and a few open seats together at the back. 
This is why I think you should board at the back of the plane, especially if you're traveling with someone and you're in the mid B or late B boarding group. However, once you get to group C, you're pretty much gonna get whatever's left. The lady sitting next to me in the middle seat, for example, was separated from her companion, as an example. There is a beverage and snack service for today's flight, and the drink menu you can see there includes free beverages like water, soft drinks, juice, coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. And unfortunately, I guess due to inflation, the beer, wine, and spirits went up in price by a dollar and are now seven to nine dollars. And it seems the drink coupons are less frequent unless you are in business select. However, remember those four days because you'll be able to get a free drink. If you are in an emergency exit, please review the safety information card and access that clock and nearest you. If you do not meet the selection criteria on the card or are unable to perform the functions or believe that performing those functions will cause you harm, please let portion know so that you can receive you. Okay, with the mobile stairs leaving there, it looks like we are just about ready to go to Las Vegas. This is my ninth trip to Las Vegas in 2023. Although oxygen will be flowing, the plastic bag may not inflate, continue wearing it until otherwise notified by a crew member. If you are traveling with children or anyone needing special assistance, put on your mask first. Please remove any face coverings before donning an oxygen mask. Alright, now that all the announcements and safety demonstrations have been given, let's get the show on the road. We're off to Vegas. Enjoy the sights and sounds of our takeoff over Long Beach.
look like from my phone. Since it's Sunday morning, I guess I'll be watching the NFL pregame shows, as I'm not sure we'll get a beverage service today. Oh, just kidding, we are getting a beverage service today. Even with this short flight, and as we were starting to descend, I was able to get a cup of water. And this is very interesting. Instead of the usual snack mix with the pretzels and Cheez-Its, we're getting this one ounce bag of cinnamon graham crackers. Now, I don't know if this is just temporary or permanent, but I'm curious to try it out. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit small, but... All right, we told you it was a short yeah, flight. Tasted all right. As we make our final descent into Las Vegas, it is now time to power down large portable electronic devices like laptops. Make sure they're stowed. Raise your seat backs and tray tables to the full upright and locked position. We know some of you just got those drinks. So if you're able to, you need to drink it up because we have to go pick them up. And with that announcement and me gulping down my water and graham crackers, let's wrap up this trip report and flight experience on Southwest 2809. First, even with the very busy post-Thanksgiving Sunday, I was still able to get to the gate within 10 minutes of being dropped off. Again, I had no bags to check and have TSA pre-checked, so that does save a lot of time. But looking again at the experience at Long Beach, it's a lot more relaxing than LAX or even Las Vegas. I hope you enjoyed as I reminisced about my travel coming back to university after Thanksgiving just as the students I saw flying back to Chicago. It seemed a little sketchy to leave my bag out in the open to gate check it, and I really would not have known where to leave it had another family not left their car seat at the bottom. Today's flight was full, but it certainly felt quite relaxing, and the crew did have some fun with the Raiders and Chiefs fans on board. One comment was that the flight attendant giving the announcement seemed to be speaking really fast. In terms of the service, it's amazing how quick the flight attendants have to get the beverages out, and they had to rush to get the snacks out there too. Sure, it's not a strip waffle like I've gotten on United, but the new graham crackers are a nice change up from the normal Southwest snacks. I do wish they were a big serving, but oh well, at least we get something. Today's flight didn't have any turbulence, which was nice. Anyway, we're landing on runway 01 Lima, runway 1L. From my seat, we have a view of the hotels on the strip. Enjoy our landing. for a couple of days to house sit as my family living here are in the Philippines for a few months. So today I'll be hanging out watching the NFL games over at South Point and I'll be doing some shopping and of course eating. That's how I spend my time in Las Vegas. Thanks for joining me on Southwest Airlines 2809. 
from Long Beach to Las Vegas. Thank we'll you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.